yo, it's your boy. I'm back with some more Overwatch content because they uh they showed off some stuff about the PVE, the new game mode, and a really a few actually good things. And I feel like I have to talk about it since I've kind of been ripping on Overwatch for the past like three weeks or whatever. And this is some decent news. I'm gonna be skipping around. If you want to watch the full video, I'll make sure I put it in the description. Um, it's so they're talking about Overwatch. This is the PVE. So they're talking about how you can like meeting new characters for the first time and that type of thing. This looks cool. Like, it looks fine. Um, I got the games journalist playing. This is interesting. So it looks like on this map there's like Torb turrets because this is where Torb. It looks like it's like Torb's factory where he builds stuff. It looks interesting. The map looks great. I think it was gonna be a two v a two CP map. Uh. They look good though, actually. They the, the missions look good. I'm still disappointed there's no progression really in it, but it does look cool. I'm glad to be getting any story at least. They're talking about how they can do stuff that they can't normally do in like PvP, like tunnels and shit that would kill you in a PvP game, but in this doesn't really matter. I will say though, do you see that right there? That not final artwork? Uh Warning, to me that seems concerning. I think this could be, like, significantly better looking than it's supposed to be. Also, I don't know why the quality is so bad. Sorry. Oh my god, look at my face. I'm gonna turn off the camera, actually, here. Store, just dialogue, you yeah, know, between characters. So they're talking about it. Uh, they're saying there's going to be missions on, like, a lot of different maps, essentially. Four or five times bigger. Which is cool. It looks fine. I don't... I think this is just Archives Plus. Like I said. I'm not going to talk too much about this. I'm still really disappointed I have to pay money for it. Um, Yeah, it looks interesting. It looks like they're doing some crazy stuff. Hopefully. This event mission looks fine. We don't really know. They don't really say anything about the PvP. They kind of just say, yep, it's coming soon. Here, we're, Here's a few things. And they show us pictures. Which, to be honest, I won't lie. This looks undone. So I, I don't think that's how it's going to look. This looks fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Enough of that. Okay. Alright, Jesus. Okay, here's the... So this is the hero missions. This is... I think this is fine. This looks like some speedrun type shit, I think. Yeah, so it's like a good way to warm up. A s interesting little story. They do talk about... Um, Actually, here, I'm gonna let this play. I'm just gonna turn it down. Um... When I was learning how to play Overwatch, I uh, was learning playing. It was my first shooter, and I was on PlayStation, and I got yelled at so frequently that I ended up. I so I only played Reaper because I. And I, to be fair, I don't like act like oh well, you shouldn't have queued up I, for competitive or whatever. It was in quick play, and I would get yelled at back in 2016 in open beta. People would be calling me trash because I I was bad. I won't lie, like I'm pretty trash back then. Uh, I played a lot of Reaper, and eventually I just ended up muting the chat uh completely and how i learned was like 15 hours of quick play essentially playing reaper only unable to hear the the chat so there's there's an interesting story this is seems like a better way to learn like i would rather throw uh myself or someone new in overwatch into these rather than throwing them straight into quick play which is a nightmare for if they're trying not to get yelled at what's up with that jump like like arc thing you see that also it's a chain lightning what the fuck winston buffs maybe yeah do you see that jump that's weird it's like mercy's jump oh it probably is like mercy's jump actually that's weird or maybe that's like a cooldown saying until you can next jump again maybe yeah and they talk about it how it's a good way to get kids into the game essentially which yeah that's fair enough 
they look good though. I I can't wait to try them. I'm a I'm gonna be a game a gamer at the Reinhardt ones. Um, a little ad, and then we get some PVP stuff. So I talk about the progression system. I joked before this, just before they say it. I joked before watching this. Um, I was watching it in Flass's chat. I literally typed. I was like, "This is they're just imagine they're just adding back levels," and then I was greeted by this, and I was like, "Oh my god." <laughs> Wait, okay, I'm back. I don't know what just happened. My mic came unplugged somehow. But, so it's, this is I actually like the best thing I've seen so far. So, there's this new, I would assume this is like your level, like your overall level. Um, which is nice that that's back. But then we've also got, like, all these individual little categories. Um, for a bunch of different things. So, we got, like, time played, which I'm gonna guess that's time played. And then we got wins. Damage mitigated, damage dealt, melee elimination, charge pinch, fire strike hits, earth shatter stuns, and earth shatter kills. And it looks like these are like infinitely level upable, like semi infinitely level upable, like little emblems that you can equip, probably. And this looks great because they're customizable per character. Me as a Reinhardt main, bro, I'm going to have some insane amounts of stats on here. Um,. And I really hated that there wasn't any levels. I get the reasoning of, like, a lot of people... Like, I remember back in the day, I would see people with gold and, like, pl platinum profiles, which means they've played, like, 10 million hours or whatever, and then they were bronze, and when you check their profile, uh, and they would get flamed for that, obviously, uh, even if it was in quick play or whatever, so I understand not wanting to show that. But also, I feel like just having your pre pre profile on, like, uh, what's it called? Private now kind of fixes that. Like, literally just turn that on if you want. Me, personally, I like seeing this. But, yeah, like, look at this. This looks really good, actually. I am pretty excited. Um, and apparently, he says later. Let me see. But yeah, like, look, every single buddy, every, every character has their own little ones. And they just got ones for certain roles and competitive, which I think is really good. Um... Yeah, and then you get name cards, which is fine. And then finally we've got Flashpoint, which this is really concerning, honestly. this The map looks good, but my god, this, is, this seems concerning. This is like 2CP, except with some RNG in it. Yeah, see? Here, wait, let me play that. So... So team caps a point. And then it selects a new one and it activates that other one. So they're... So you're like walking next to each other essentially to the next uh pat like point. So there's going to be some interesting fights. I think it could be good. I'm a little concerned about the RNG aspect of it. Um... The art team, as always, is amazing. Like, look at this. This looks insane. And they always do this. And this is a, such a long, like, if I put it in two times, you can still see it's it's a big map. Like, I think they show an overhead at some point. Let me see if I can find it. Was that it? Oh, wait, there was the DO reference. Fuck. Uh, they had a DO reference on one of the maps. I thought it was funny. Um, but yeah, you saw that. Uh, look at how big this is. Like, genuinely, this is humongous. Uh, <laughs> large. I guess we'll see how it works. I'm not gonna... But yeah, like, I will say, it's an interesting idea. I just kind of am concerned after push, which has been awful. Um, and then they're like, here's no, some concept art. And then they pretty much say, they're low. Like, they're huge. Like, that's what your character's size is about. That's insane. <laughs> um, 
and then they hit us with some ads. Oh, look at that, Lucio skin. Um, but let me switch to. What do I even do? Let me switch to. Nope, <laughs> I do that all the time now. I didn't want you to see my my channel, boys. Uh, but I just thought I should talk about all that really fast because it's actually, to be fair, uh, some decent news. Because I think I think rewarding players for playing uh your game is always good, right? Like you. Like here, let me open up my Overwatch really quick and show you just how bland the uh Oh, they're hitting me with a summer sale, huh? Can I get an Overwatch skin off for some cheaper prices, please? No? Didn't think so. Oh wait, you literally can. 42% off. Oh my god, look at the darkness. <laughs> uh oh, there I am. Um So let me see. Let me let me load it in. But it's I would say it's overall good news, but the progression uh, right now is awful. It's like actually terrible. Also, this finally loaded in, so look at that. Uh, this is insane, by the way. These skins, no one's talking about it. $50, and they are not very good. Like, I, I get it that they're unique and like one of a kind, but this is not... You can... I don't understand why they don't let you just buy one, like, cheaper. Uh, whatever. Um, there's this as well, which is is all fine um but i was really gonna show you the career profile so look at this i got i got hours on this game right i got a lot of time you can see my level right there although it doesn't matter i don't think i don't think it goes up anymore um hopefully they add that back but look at this like i got i got lots of hours and this is the flex that i get out of that is you can look at this page and the statistics page and the statistic page is pretty interesting. I almost have a hundred thousand eliminations, which is pretty hype. Um, oh my god, I have one more games that I've lost. Let's go, boys. <laughs> We've got a positive uh, games one ratio, assists, deaths. Like, it's interesting to see all this. 20, this is pretty crazy also, 24 hours on the objective, so I've spent 24, a full day of my life on the objective, and testing it, that's for you guys boys, and then 150 on the objective in general, um, I was 49 minutes, wait, it reset this, because I definitely had longer, I had like 90%, well that's kind of dumb, but this is what I'm saying, and another thing, when I go to competitive, I can't even show you my previous seasons, like at all, they're just gone, and because this is just broken in general. But I have these achievements, which are also broken. Zero out of a hundred. I have most of them, but like, this is what I've gotten essentially. Also, name cards for the thing is fine. I I don't really mind. I don't see myself getting rid of this Doomfist one unless it's like really good, though. To be fair, I'm a huge One Punch Man fan. Oh, they did add Pride stuff. I didn't even notice. Does Reinhardt have one? He's not gay. Okay, that makes sense. Ah oh, well. Um, looks good though. It looks fine. Um, but I'm just happy that we are finally getting some progression. As sad as it is that it take takes them this long. Um, that's about it. I just thought I should. I should. I don't want. It's not like apologize, but I want to keep everyone up to date. Essentially, on God, I keep doing that. On what's going on, because it is, like, I do think it's unfair to only cover their bad decisions, although it is fun to look at Blizzard Fall. Um, they have been doing alright this past season. I think next season, I saw a comment from somebody on my video talking about how next season is kind of the do or die time, and I completely agree. I think if next season fails, it's kind of all downhill from here, and I think we're going to go back and Overwatch 1 territory where we're not getting content, and who knows, maybe the game will just die permanently there. But on that semi-happy, semi-tragic note, that's about it. Later.